Did you know that certain aspects of your personality traits are determined or at least influenced by the types of microbes that are in your gut? Are you nervous in crowds of people or are you really outgoing and social? These types of personality characteristics seem to be influenced by the types of bacteria that predominate your gut microbiome. I'm Kieran Krishnan, your friendly neighborhood microbiologist, and this is your microbiome moment. So in today's microbiome moment, we're going to talk about how certain characteristics of the microbiome seem to influence behavior and personality traits. In this study right here, published in 2020, they analyzed 655 patients who had very clear personality traits, and they examined their gut microbiome through lots and lots of sampling. Here's what they found. People that were very outgoing and very social tended to have higher diversity within their microbiome and very high levels of acromantia mucinophila. People who were less social and people who were more nervous tended to have low levels of acromantia, lower diversity, and also higher levels of um, sulfate-reducing bacteria like disulfovibrio. Right, So that seems to be a characteristic of those different outcomes. Now, it could also be said that people who are social tend to go out and spend more time with other people and tend to be outside more, and maybe that influences the diversity of the microbiome. And that could be true. However, studies on animals said differently, where they can take animals with very specific traits, right, nervous tendencies or very social and outgoing tendencies, and they can swap the microbiome between these animals. These are typically done in mice. And when they swap the microbiome in these animals, the animals tend to change personality traits. So what that says is that the microbes do have a significant influence on your personality outcomes. So if you're looking to be more social, if you're looking to be less nervous in general, whether it's among your colleagues or your group of friends or your family, maybe you have an outing coming, maybe it's a wedding that's coming up that you're getting very nervous about, and maybe you want to increase that social characteristic, you can bump up your acromantia, you can bump up your diversity, and you can reduce microbes like disulfovibrio. Let's talk about how you do that. Acromantia loves polyphenols, right? Polyphenols can be found in really healthy, organic, dark, rich chocolate, can be found in wine, of course, in fruits and colored vegetables. If you just Google polyphenol rich foods, you'll find tons of them. So eating more polyphenols, maybe eating more organic dark chocolate, maybe even having a few glasses of wine throughout the week can all be helpful in increasing your sociability and increasing your comfort level in groups of people. Now, reducing that desulfovibrio, which seems to work against that social characteristic can be done by eating cruciferous vegetables, right? Things like broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. Cruciferous vegetables seem to reduce the amount of uh, desulfovibrio within your system. So increasing the polyphenols decrease and in increasing cruciferous vegetables will balance out your microbiome, which may in turn change some of your personality traits, maybe make you more comfortable in crowds, make it easier for you to do public speaking, make you more comfortable to be out there in the world. On top of that, you want to increase your diversity, right? So in general, to increase your diversity, you want to try to eat a higher diversity of foods. Um, just try to take in one or two new types of foods each week. What I like to do is go to ethnic grocery stores and find new vegetables or new fruits and, and new meats that you don't typically consume and add one of those items to your diet each week. That in itself will significantly increase your diversity over time. Intermittent fasting is another way of increasing diversity. I personally like to do the 12 uh, hour fast with the eight hour feeding window, that type of intermittent fasting where I'm basically fasting from dinner to lunch the next day. That has been shown to increase the diversity as well. So you've got the capability within your reach to perhaps change some of your personality traits to make it more comfortable to be out there in the world as we all go back out and emerge into the world around us. 
Thank you again and look for the next microbiome moment.